everyone, my name's Angela and welcome to these videos. Right, today is a home bargains haul. Um, I do tend to pop in there quite a bit because it's next door to my Aldi's, so win-win. Yeah, so it's um, over a period of two to three weeks that I've collected this because I might only go in there and buy one or two bits at a time. But I've made a, a, enough to do a haul for you, otherwise there wouldn't be enough. Right, okay, so let's get started. And as I always say in my previous hauls, I'll do the boring bits first. And when I mean by boring bits, I probably mean like the food or the cleaning products or whatever. Okay, so, um, right. Do you ever buy something that you used to have as a child, talking about food? And then, because you have all these lovely memories of how you enjoyed it and how they were your favourite. I did that with these Monster Munch. Roast beef Monster Munch. I used to love them. And I, I don't know why, I just wanted to try them again. Um, I probably should have left my memories, my childhood memories, my good childhood memories, back there. Because I was a little bit disappointed. I think, nothing wrong with Monster Munch, but I think my taste has changed. So as you mature and grow older, your taste tends to change um, and obviously I didn't appreciate them like I did when I was younger but roast beef monster munch um, how much were they? £1.25 for six bags and I'm sure the kids still love them right also I adore these um, if I'm really really wanting a chocolate craving I go for something like this this is the 99 calories and this is the mint flavor skinny whip um, I really like them if you're a fan of obviously mint stuff like after eights and that it's really nice and I'm actually it says mint and dark chocolate I actually prefer dark chocolate so that's probably why I like them where some people don't like dark chocolate Anyway, those ones were 99p as well, and you get five in there, and they're meant to be 99 calories per bar. You do need to check if you're on Slimming World. I think they're about four, four to four and a half sins, but check, check your app, because I'm, I'm a little bit unsure. But yeah, so they're really good if you need that little bit of a chocolate, chocolate fix after dinner, because chocolate and mint go very well after dinner. Anyway, I've got these for the children. Let me have a look how much these were. Coffee Pops. These didn't disappoint. I used to have these as a child. Only when I went around my friend's house, because her mum and dad were a little bit more well off than what I was. And um, I remember her mum used to buy us these, and we used to have these with a cup of tea in the morning. And she used to get a cup of tea brought up to us. That was lovely. So, um, yeah. These were 99p for a pack of those. And they're, they've got like a, a short bread biscuit on the bottom, caramel and chocolate. Really nice. I won't be touching them, though, even though I love them. Right, okay, so for the next food product, these, I've mentioned these before, probably on another Home Bargains haul. Um, if I start running low, I do pick a box up. These are the salted caramel bliss bars, which I'm actually preferring than the Skinny Whip. Um, these are less than 99 calories so if you're on Slimming World you need to check the app um, same again it might be about four to four and a half sins per bar and you get five bars in there so that's a really nice little treat as well I mean for a pound for five bars it's only 20p a bar so that's a lovely little treat as well and I like the salty caramel they do do double chocolate and orange chocolate but I actually prefer the salty caramel it's my favorite flavor so that was 99p as well. So that's most of the food out of the way, except for, um, where's this, where's this? I'm trying to find it because I've got two receipts. Ah, oh, here we go, I've got the wrong receipt. We've got a camper van tin. I love this tin. And I'm a bit of a sucker for tins. Um, but I just thought, I can use this. I can fill biscuits and treats and stuff up with this. Look at this lovely camper van tin. How cool is that? It's so cool. It's lovely. And it's got shortbread fingers in it. So my family do love shortbread. So it's a win-win. But that was um, 
2.99 but i really bought it because i absolutely love the tin and um, i know i can refill it even though they will get the use out the shortbread yeah so i really love that so that was 2.99 they're, they're quite handy for a present as well right okay so now on to the other products that i've got um okay so i picked up birthday cards the person I've got a couple of personal ones that um, obviously I'm not going to show you on here in case someone sees them, but um, these are sort of more everyday ones. I like to keep a couple of spare uh, to send to people, or if you're seeing them and you forgot your card. Um, but this one was a I love these minions, and that's what um, minions, minions, minions. Anyway, that was 79p for that, and I just know a little chap that will love that. I picked up two ladies type of cards, just with happy birthday, you're amazing. But they're nice big cards and that was 69p. And this was 59p and that was sparkle on your birthday. So you can get some nice cards in there. I mean, when you think some of the cards that some card places charge are like three to four pound, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, right, okay, I wanted to get some tissue paper because I use this to actually wrap stuff like presents and, and different bits or anything a little bit delicate um, in something. As I said, I'm trying not to buy wrapping paper now, so I do use tissue paper and brown paper. And that was 49p for 10 sheets and I only bought plain white because um, I sometimes put the brown paper around the outside, so I just wrap this up if it's a bit delicate. Um, yeah, so that was 49p for 10 sheets of those. Um, right, okay, um, we've been using this, or I should say my husband's been using this. Um, it's Santex, um, I don't know if you can see that. It's for sensitive skin, um, shower cream. Um, we've been finding that sometimes things are too highly perfumed. And they're actually making us a bit itchy and things like that. So I'm having to watch soap powder and shower gel some of the time. I do like a nice shower gel. Um, so I don't always use this, but he does. Yeah, so that's Santex. And that's quite a good one. And that's a really big bottle, actually. That's 650 ml. And it's £2.49. So I didn't think that was too bad. Because you pay 99p for a 250ml bottle. So for 650 mil for 249, that's not bad. That's a good price. Anyway. Right, okay. I see these in there. I thought these were really good. These were £1.49 as well. I did buy two because I bought one for me and one for my son, because probably next year he's gonna go travelling and be working abroad. But these were really handy. It's um a, like plastic travel wallet and it does say that you can put like your passport and things in there and the times that we've been away and we need to put our passport in something like this so it doesn't get wet if your bag gets wet and you're taking your bag out um, you can put your passport passport and um, more like important stuff um, in in one of these so I thought that was a really good idea so I did pick up one for me for when we go away and I've, I picked up one for my son so these were one pound 49 I thought that was a great idea so I love a hat in the summer and uh, this was 2.99 which is not bad going for a hat is it so um, yeah it's not bad it's got like a little if you can see like silvery type pattern around there and I do find that um, I've got another trilby hat and I, I put um, actually bands on it to whatever I'm wearing. I'll show you, I will demonstrate. Right, okay, that's one look. Can you see that I put the band on? So sometimes I zhish them up a little bit. Is that the word we should use? I don't know. So anyway, then if I go to music festival, which I do love, live music, sometimes put flowers on and then I sometimes put things like this on so it's just to give it that little bit more of an extra touch um, just to zhish your hat up with whatever you're wearing but I do like a hat in the summer and sometimes I prefer these than a baseball cap um, because these have got small holes in which let the air go through 
where a baseball cap is like all enclosed and I, then your head gets, well to me, your head gets really hot. Um, yeah, so that was worth it. That was 2 99 So that was my hat. You know, hair. I have used these. Um, that's why they're out of the packaging. But I will show you what they are. Um, spiral hairband. So you've got different colours. So if you can see, you've got like a leopard print. A plain pink like a, a bronzy orangey gold and a silvery pink sorry that was my hair in it silvery pink and a black so perfect colors and they were 99p so they obviously have been taken out their little thing that they were come in but um yeah they were 99p so i bought a pack of them so the sleepovers might be starting back up and um you might have seen her before. I have a little granddaughter that I have over. Her name's Phoebe Rose, and we love to do like pamper nights and movie nights and popcorn nights and things like that. So right, so I've bought some pamper bits for when she comes over. So these were these were 89p and that's your foot pack. And these are really nice, these ones. Um, the tea tree and peppermint, because the peppermint really cools your feet down, especially if they're quite hot in the summer and they're swelling up. So these were, that was 89p, so I've got two of those. I've got two of those. Um, this was uh, 79p, that one was for me. Manuka Honey Face Mask, I don't know if you can see that. And that was uh, 79p. And then I bought Phoebe Rose a 89p Mermaid Repair and Revitalise Sheet Mask. So that she can do that one. So yeah, that's our little um, pamper pack. Right, these are really handy. If you see, I, I did a video um, previously. If you can go back and find it. If not, I'll try and link it. I'm not very good at linking. Um... It was to do with, because I'm really trying to reduce lots of waste and products and things like that. And I use these. These are reusable dishcloths. Okay, these are reusable dishcloths. And you get five in there for 99p. I don't know if you can see the different colours at the top, which I normally colour coordinate. So I've got like a colour for the bathroom, which wouldn't be used in the kitchen. And yeah, you, I just literally put these in the washing machine. Um, they're really good. Um, as dishcloths these ones they're microfiber dishcloths um, so you can constantly wash them instead of buying the ones that you just can continuously throw away because I find that within a by the second day of the ones that um, you sort of throw away they, they smell so you have to keep throwing them away so you're using at least one every two days or you're trying to bleach them to make them smell a bit better but um, yeah these you just put in the washing machine and I've just got a packet of these and they've lasted ages and I thought I'll keep these as a spare pack ready because I don't want to go out and buy the throwaway ones. So five pack of five, 99p, bargain. Okay, so I also bought these, um, which I don't know if you'd seen on a previous, it might have been Home Bargains haul. I bought a, um, a little makeup bag with little pouches of simple accessories which i haven't used yet which i'm saving if when i do travel but i these were quite a good little buy these were quite a good buy for how much was in them so you get like 50 mil in each so if you was going away for a week that would probably do and i bought one of them i bought was the moisturizer i don't know if you can see that there cleansing water so that one there is cleansing water in another little patch, and that is 50 ml. Now these were both 49 pH, but I didn't want to use my new pack that I bought for travelling. So what I'm going to do is, when I've run out of my cleansing water in the bathroom, I'm going to try this, I'm going to open it, but I want to see if I can refill these. So I can keep it and just constantly use these little pouches for taking away because they're so lightweight and so good and you sort of can roll them when you finish so yeah that's got an S SPF 15 on it that one as well that uh, that moisturiser SPF 15 which is really handy as well 
So I thought they'd be really nice little pouches to see if I can actually refill. So I will be using those, and they were 49p each. Right, I bought these um, in my, as I said in my video before, uh, when I was trying to make 16 small changes, I've actually bought a um, travel straw to go in my bag. But I wanted these at home as well. I was advised not to actually buy the stainless steel because they can irritate your teeth a little bit. But I thought I'm going to give it a go. For 99p, I don't want to buy any more plastic straws. Um, so for 99p, these are good for at home. And they get a little, you get a little brush with it for 99p as well. I don't know if you can see that there. Look, let me put that through. You get a bottle brush with it as well. And you get... Um, so you get a cleaning brush and drinking straws. You get a pack of four. So that is literally 25p for a, a metal drinking straw and you can clean them. So I wanted these for at home because I've got one to go in my bag for out and about. I thought they were brilliant for 99p. I was going to buy them when they first came out last year. And I think they were something like six or seven pound elsewhere. But that was obviously home bargains. I've picked up on that and that's really good. These were, these were just for fun. I'd already bought these, uh, so I don't know how easy these are going to be to clean. I've been told you can put them in the dishwasher, so I bought these for the kids at 89p, reusable straws again, because they're that hard plastic, they're not throwaway plastic, and I'm going to try and put these in the dishwasher to clean them. And I know it's going to be difficult because the brush won't be able to go down them properly, but someone told me you could put these in the dishwasher to clean them. So I just removed the little bits at the top, um, to put them in the dishwasher and then see how we go. So they were 89p. So no other straws, no disposable straws. <laughs> right, okay, and last but not least, my favourite pens are back into home bargains. Um, they'd had a lull where they wasn't in for a while. Um, I like writing with these actually. And this is the rose gold diamond pen. And the ink is blue, where a lot of pens that you buy, and a lot of them, the ink's black now, and I actually prefer blue ink. So, the rose gold pens are 99p. So I actually picked up two of those, because um, I actually really like writing with them. Yeah, so that was a little bit of a treat, that one. Okay, so that's everything today on my home bargains haul. Um, I did buy cleaning products because I'm trying to use up what I've got and I've got quite a bit at the moment. So that's about it really and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, comment or have a chat with me, I'm, I'll, I'll try and keep going over and looking to see if I, I can answer questions and things like that if anyone puts anything down. Um, I don't always get back straight away, but I will check every now and again. I'll go back and have a look. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're enjoying the nice weather. And um, I'll see you all soon. See you later. Bye.